What's going on beautiful people? Today is another vlog day. For this week's vlog, I am taking you to the beginning of the week, which started with me actually getting booked for a job in Boston. I was shooting for a company called Life is Good. Life is Good. I feel like that could not fit more perfectly into how I currently feel about my life, like genuinely. <laughs> Let's start from the top. Flying to Boston will had to have been one of the fastest flights I have ever been on in my entire life. We were in the air for 30 something minutes. I started a movie, only got 10 minutes in, and then I had to put away my electronic device because we were already starting to descend. Was good. I'm in Boston. Guys, I am currently in Boston. I am here for a modeling job. This is actually my first time to Boston. I've never been here before and i'm currently like in the middle of nowhere i think that's the thing about so interesting about these jobs is that even though you do get to go to new places and travel which is always so exciting sometimes it takes you to the middle of nowhere which is currently where i am about an hour away from i think the center city of boston it's been quite an quite an eventful day um i met up with two of the other male models that are going to be on the shoot for tomorrow and super cool guys we grabbed some food we found some food <laughs> i'm laughing because okay let, let, let me just tell you about this eventful day that i had arrived at the airport supposed to have a ride come pick us up right headed towards limo services and um yeah my limo driver was not there um, he was supposed to pick us up in a suburban he wasn't there i was like yo where he at contact my agent was trying to figure out where where this car was about 45 minutes later after waiting because she said you know maybe your flight was a little bit early so the car wasn't supposed to come until three o'clock i was like sure no problem and then i waited and waited and waited turns out i was at the wrong terminal so i had to walk to like terminal b then i showed up and then the male models had actually been waiting for like close to an hour so we all were waiting just like in different parts and if i had just shown up then we probably would have left a little bit earlier until I found out that another model, female, is supposed to show up and she was nowhere to be found. We're now at the hotel and I haven't seen the male, the female model, but me and the male models, we got along, they're pretty cool. We grabbed a bite to eat. Now I have an audition, so I'm reading some lines. Have to do this audition before, before tomorrow. So I'm gonna set up against that white wall right there in my room and see if I can get this done. Not the best lighting, but we're gonna just, we're gonna just do what we can. Cause these are the cards that have been dealt to us. Let me show you guys my room actually. It's really cute. So this is my room. You enter, you've got a cute little seating area. We have, you know, the bed. Turn around and look at this. You got a little fireplace. I'm watching some Star Wars, I'm watching Obi-Wan again and yeah here we go that's me hi got the bathroom pretty cute huh so yeah so that's my room tour um we're starting tomorrow bright and early i'll be here till wednesday it's currently monday so we're shooting tomorrow tuesday and all day wednesday and um, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. I know, well, that's a lie. I know that it's holiday, so it's probably gonna be like super Christmassy and spirited, which I love, because I love Christmas. So that makes me super excited. But aside from that, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. But I will bring you along on the entire journey. So see you guys. See you soon. I'm so tired and I am submitting my self tape right now it's like 11 30 p.m and uh i'm exhausted good morning i'm super tired um i'm getting ready now and i'm about to do my skincare this camera angle is really funny because i feel like you guys are like this fly on the wall like a spy cam <laughs> Um, I wanted to show you guys what I use in the morning to get ready. So I'm using this vitamin C by First Aid Beauty. 
I've been using it for like three weeks now and I'm really liking it. This is my first time ever using like a vitamin C that's more than $10. And since using it, I see such a difference in my skin, like especially last month. Um, if you guys watched my video, I was breaking out quite a bit on my forehead while I was in LA and my skin could not get a grip like at all. First Aid Beauty sent it to me to try it out to see what my thoughts are and I'm a big fan. Next, I'm gonna go in with my PCA Skin Clear Skin. I love this stuff. Sometimes I use this other oil on my skin, but today, since I don't really know what we're doing, I'm just gonna top it off with some sunscreen, the Glow Screen by Supergoop. So I'm gonna just make my skin dry a little bit because I want products, the vitamin C and the clear skin to really get in there. And then I'm gonna use the Super Goop um, sunscreen. It's like kind of tan, which is kind of cool. And it really makes your skin, it gives you like a blurring effect like when you get on a filter. See, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it looks really good in person. And with vitamin C, you also want to make sure they use the sunscreen. All right, I'm gonna do my hair now. Gotta blow dry it and finish getting ready. So that day, it was actually very crazy. A lot of stuff happened that day. So we started off the day really early, getting hair and makeup done, um, all that stuff. And we first went to this location of a house. It was a huge house, it was beautiful. I say the scariest part was when there was somebody on set, I actually don't remember her name, but she ended up getting injured. She was putting up decorations, but it was like she fell off the ladder and I just heard like a doo -doo. I looked over and she had a gash on her head. It was so scary. We called the ambulance. Um, I saw her hands swelling up pretty bad. The ambulance came like in five seconds. It was <laughs> insane and it was amazing. Yeah, we just had to wait and see how she was doing, if she was gonna be okay. Um, I found out the next day that she did fracture her ribs. I think it was like two or three ribs and she broke her arm, which was crazy and she suffered a concussion. It was like such a freak accident and it was, it scared the crap out of everybody. We just couldn't believe how fast everything just turned. Aside from all of those things, we made the best out of it. Everyone got along, we got to do various things. There was a Christmas tree, we had the kids baking cookies and eating cookies, and overall it was just really good. What about All right, we are here <laughs> at Happy Tuesday. We are here vibing in the snow. <laughs> it's cold out, but we're getting it done, baby. <laughs> that was a great addition. The next day I woke up and... <sighs> Day two. Oh man, what an adventure yesterday was. Okay, side note, so I'm editing my video and I'm realizing that I never told you guys what my adventure was from the night before, so I'm gonna tell you super quick. So the night before, Dominic, Eduardo, and I, we, after the shoot, we decided we wanted to go to dinner. The first place that we had gone to was just walking distance. This other place, Rusty Can, which I highly recommend, it's a barbecue spot and it's freaking delicious. If you are in Ipswich, Massachusetts, highly recommend. Because we're like in the middle of nowhere, there's no Ubers, so it took us 25 minutes to catch an Uber to begin with. When we get to the restaurant, which looked like the set of a movie, by the way, we get there, we eat amazing food, good vibes, all this stuff. Nine o'clock rolls around. That's when they start closing up. So we were like, guys, we got to go. We go to leave. We try calling an Uber. It took us 45 minutes to get an Uber. We were standing outside. It almost started to rain. It was getting really windy. There was no one around. All the lights started shutting down. Like we thought we were gonna be stranded and it's not like we could walk back to the hotel. We checked. It was like a two hour walk to head back to the hotel. So it was just like an adventure and a half just to go out to dinner and go back to the hotel. Took what should have just taken like an hour and a half. Took us almost three hours. Good times, good times. Day two. I gotta get ready. Then I went to put on my slippers, walking to the bathroom. And on my way to the bathroom, 
I see the spider on my bed, on the sheets. I literally went, oh, come on. That happened and then that day was so eventful. We um, we get to the shoot, really cute restaurant, tried my first clam chowder for the first time and it wasn't half bad. But aside from that, we got the VW back and the cool thing is Dominic and I got to ride in the VW on the way to the next location. We're about to ride in the VW! Oh, hey, we out here. We're getting ready to go surfing. Watch out. We out here. We are out here. It is a beautiful <laughs> Wednesday. Happy hump day to all of you. You know, you know, happy Wednesday. It can be hump day, too. We out here in the back of the surf stand, the VW. Okay. What year is this thing? 76. We're in a 1976 VW bus. I feel like Scooby-Doo right now. Let's go. And after shooting at Clam Box, we went to the beach, Ridgeport Beach, which is about a half an hour away from the Clam Box, and it was so beautiful there like i it was like a movie i felt like i was in one of those netflix movies or like the movie with like chris hemsworth or liam hemsworth or whatever where they're on the beach and i just feel like i should have a dog and like you know or i'm, I'm a writer and i write a book and i need to go there to like clear my mind like that's the vibe that it was giving me or like some sort of love story something romantic was taking place on that beach <laughs> it was just so beautiful and um we took a couple of photos there. Literally, it was like, you were done in, in not even five minutes. Our flights weren't until 9 p.m. And then the male, the male models, their flight wasn't until 7 p.m. So we were like, by the time we wrapped, it was 2 p.m. Two. So we were like, what are we gonna do now? Like, can we go home? And they, the production said that we weren't the car to pick us up wasn't going to come until 5 p.m. So we were like, well, that sucks. What do we do now? <laughs> Production dropped us off as, at this, like, in the inner city of Ridgeport. There's, like, a cute little town. And so they dropped us off there at a coffee shop. Such beautiful views inside this coffee shop. It was, like, insane. Um, and we just hung out there for, like, an hour. And then we were like, okay, should we walk around now? Also, it was freezing. It was so cold. We were not prepared and it was very cute and very quaint. Um, I actually ended up buying a couple pieces of jewelry. I got this really pretty ring and I got this bangle that's like gold and turquoise, which I don't see very often. So I knew that I had to scoop that up. And then I got these earrings that I thought were super cute. They're laser printer printed, but they're Look how pretty that is. Oh, I kept it on, but yeah. It's so, such tropical vibes. Haha. <laughs> and um, then we waited to be picked up, right? So we get picked up around five o'clock. We actually spend the entire time there. As we're waiting, as we're all waiting, um, I get a notification on my phone that me and Henna, Henna's flight is delayed till 10 p.m., 10.30. And I was just like, girl, <laughs> I have work tomorrow. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. And you know, what if our flight just keeps getting delayed, delayed, delayed? So whatever, we're going through this whole thing, trying to figure out what we should do. Hannah is a huge advocate in like taking the train. Cause that's actually how she got to, um, because she missed her flight, she ended up taking a train from New York to Boston for the job. So she was like, I wish that we could just take a train back to New York. Like this would be so much easier. We could have like been on the train right now headed. So I was just like, okay, well let's try to figure it out. Anyways, we're going along, going along. We find another flight that's actually leaving at 8.30. So we're like, okay, the guys are leaving at seven. We we can leave at 8.30 and we'll be good. The car comes to pick us up and um, our driver, Sam, he was super nice. So we're on our way, you know, we're taught, we're, talking and driving. And then all of a sudden, Eduardo gets a notification that his flight, his flight got canceled. Now, Eduardo and Dominic have the same flight, so both of their flights got canceled. So now I'm freaking out because the flight that, the 8.30 flight was actually a delayed flight. It was supposed to leave at seven, but now it's leaving at 8.30. So I started freaking out saying, if their flights got canceled, ours is delayed, how do we know, and like our original flight got delayed an hour, how do we know that this delayed flight won't keep delaying and then the 10 p.m. flight won't fly out till tomorrow and then the 8.30 flight might not leave until 10. Like, what do we do? 
And so we were like all talking amongst ourselves, trying to figure out with what to do. Eduardo's looking at renting a car. Dominic's like, I don't know. Hannah's like, you, we should, Hannah's like, you know, we should go to, we should just take the train. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just take the train. So I started looking up Amtrak tickets going and all this kind of stuff. And the end of it, we ended up taking the train. <laughs> Ipswich? Ipswich. It was real. I love you guys. Let's do this. Yo, happy Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. We ended up just canceling all of our flights and um, just all taking the train back. And our train left at 6.45. So we were like, we would get back in New York by 10.50 because it takes about uh, four and four plus hours to take the train. At least we'd all be together. At least we know that for certain we would be on our way from Boston to New York and we're not just stuck in Boston, especially with me having to work in the morning. Like if I didn't work in the morning, then I would have been like, we could just, you know, we'll just, hang out at the airport, whatever. If they put us up for a hotel and whatever. But because of that uncertainty and because having to work, I just figured we should all be together. Yeah, that's exactly what we ended up doing. And we just ended up playing Call of Duty for a couple hours. Uh, it was a little spotty, kind of got annoying. But, you know, we ended up doing that. And that was my, that was my trip. It was actually a lot of fun. It's always great when you go on these jobs, you meet new people at a new place. It's all great vibes. The client's amazing. Like we're all just getting along. It's so refreshing because those jobs are so far and few in between at times. And the next day I had work and now today's my day off. And honestly, I did not get out of bed until like noon because I was so tired from the whole week. That's my week so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Uh, let me know in the description if you did. I also just want to thank First Aid Beauty for sending me their vitamin C serum because it has been working wonders on my face and I am super, super happy with it. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to leave the link for that as well in the description. And until next time, guys, see ya.